Write a function rule given the table shown below. So how can we do this? Well, first, we need to establish what kind of function we have. And looking at the, the numbers for x and y, we could see it's a linear function. Whenever x increases by 1, y increases by 3. So because we have a constant change for y, for every constant change for x, we know we're dealing with a linear function. Therefore, we could use this equation, y equals mx plus b. That's the function of, that's the equation for a linear function in slope-intercept form. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to calculate the slope. The slope is going to be the change in y over the change in x. And notice that the slope is constant. Every time x increases by 1, y changes by 3. So for every change in 1 in the x values, there's a change of positive 3 in the y values. So the slope is 3. So that's our m value. b is the y-intercept. So b is the y value when x is 0. When x is 0, y is 2. So the y-intercept is 2. So all we need to do is we need to replace m and b. And we're going to have a function rule that gives us y for any x value that we choose. And that's going to be our function rule. y is equal to 3x plus 2. And we could check the work. If we plug in 0 for x, we're going to get 2. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. If we were to plug in 2 into x, we're going to get 8 for y. 3 times 2 plus 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So we can see that this equation describes the pattern of numbers that we see in this table. Now, for the sake of practice, let's try another example. So let's say we have the numbers. Let's make this a bigger table. Let's say we have the numbers negative 1, 3, 1, 7, 3, 11, and 515. Go ahead and pause the video. Write a function rule given the data in this table. So notice that the change in x for the second example is positive 2. The change in y is positive 4. So we have a constant change in y for every constant change in x. So we're dealing with a linear function. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate the slope. The slope is going to be the change in y over the change in x. So the change in y is 4. The change in x is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So our m value is 2. Now, what's our b value? What's our y-intercept? What is the value of y when x is 0? When x is 0, what is y? Well, we know the slope is 2. So that means that when x changes by 1, y changes by 2. Or when x changes by 4, I mean, when x changes by 2, y changes by 4. So that's what a slope of 2 means. If the change in x is 1, the change in y is 2. If the change in x is 2, the change in y is 4. So as we go up one unit for x, we need to go up two units for y. So when x is 0, y has to be 5. 
3 plus 2 is 5. So our b value is 5. So now we can write an equation using this formula. So m is 2 and b is 5. So y is equal to 2x plus 5. And you could check it. So let's say if we were to plug in this point. If we were to replace x with 3, we would get a y value of 11. So that tells you the function that we have works. Now let's try an example that is harder than the first two that we've done so far. So let's say we have the point negative 2, negative 19, and then we have the point 1, 2, 316, and 6, 37. So using this table, go ahead and write a function rule. So let's compare the change in x with the change in y. So going from negative 2 to positive 1, that's a change of positive 3. And going from negative 19 to 2, if you subtract 2 by 2 minus negative 19, that's 21. So if we were to calculate the slope between those two points, we have a change in y over a change in x. So the change in y is 21, the change in x is 3. So if this is a linear, if this is a linear function, the slope would be 7. But let's check. So looking at the next point, going from 1 to 3, that's a change of positive 2 in the x values. 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, looking at the change in y, going from 2 to 16, that's an increase of positive 14. So using this formula, the change in y, going from the second point to the third point, that's 14. The change in x is 2. 14 over 2 is 7. So notice that we have a constant slope, which means we're dealing with a linear function, a straight line. Therefore, we could use this equation, y is equal to mx plus b. So we know the slope is 7. We just need to calculate our b value. So we know that when x is 1, y is 2. So what is y when x is negative 1 and when x is 0? So keep in mind, the slope is 7. That means that when the change in x is 1, the change in y is 7. So every time x increases by a value of 1, y is going to increase by 7. So if we add 7 to negative 19, this is going to be negative 12. If we add 7 to negative 12, that's going to be negative 5. And if we add 7 to negative 5, that will give us 2. And our y-intercept occurs, the, the b value, which is the y-intercept, that is the y value when x is 0. So our b value is negative 5. So our function rule is going to be 7x minus 5. Now we could test it out with the first point. So if we were to plug in negative 2, it should give us negative 19. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Negative 14 minus 5 is negative 19. Now we could check with the last point that we had. 
637. If we plug in 6, this should give us 37. 7 times 6 is 42. 42 minus 5 is 37. So this is the correct function rule that describes this particular, the data in that table. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to write a function rule given a table if we're dealing with a linear function.